Hey, what's going on guys? Stephen Badger Outdoors here, and today we're talking broadheads. All right guys, so today's video, I'm gonna be going over some broadheads that I picked up. I'm gonna be doing a little review on them. But first I wanna remind you, if you haven't done it yet, hit that subscribe button, uh, give me a thumbs up on uh, this video, and uh, Go check out some of my other videos out there. So that being said, let's begin. So as you know, um, if you're a hunter, there are bow hunter, crossbow hunter, you know there is a lot of uh, selection when it comes to broadheads out there. So um, they, they can get pretty expensive too. So I kind of wanted to find out if um, some of the cheaper broadheads uh, can do just as uh, good as the more expensive broadheads. Um, for example, here I have uh, this right here, which is a Montec. I believe it's a G5. Uh, I actually took um, my deer this year with this guy, and uh, I have, I've used a few different kinds of broadheads. Uh, here's another one that I have used in years past, which is the Stinger. Um, they're both fixed fixed blade um, broadheads. Not a huge fan of mechanical broadheads. To tell you the truth, I've never actually used them, but. Uh, I don't know, I, I just feel more comfortable with a fixed blade. That way you know that there's no possibility of a malfunction where the blades don't do what they're supposed to do. I've seen videos where um, broadheads have actually uh, ricocheted off the animal. So uh, I don't know, I just don't, I just don't feel 100% using a, a mechanical. So I like my, uh, my fixed blades and uh, yeah. So if you like mechanical, um, so be it. Um, it's just personal preference to me, but uh, I like uh, the fixed blades. So that being said, I uh, was at Walmart and uh, I was looking at their broadhead selection and I came across uh, these guys right here, the Allen, uh, Allen brand. Uh, these are PowerPoint chisel broadheads. They are 100 grain, um, has a one inch cutting diameter and uh, it says right here on the package that you can use them on uh, bows and crossbows, which I am a crossbow hunter. So I uh, picked some up. These are, um, I believe they retail for like nine, just under 10 bucks. So about 10 bucks, a little bit over 10 bucks with tax and everything like that. They do actually make a even less expensive uh, um, set that are like $2 cheaper. They're like eight bucks, I think. Um, and they actually have a, a bigger uh, cutting diameter too, which I thought was kind of weird, but they don't have the, the chisel point tips on them. They're just a regular um, point on there. So um, yeah, so like I said, uh, broadheads can get pretty expensive. I mean, uh, the Montex, they're, they're like 40 bucks for three of them. The Stingers are a little bit cheaper. They're like 30 bucks, I believe, for uh, three of them. So for... A third of the money, um, almost a fourth of the money, um, in some cases, you can get three of these guys, and uh, yeah. So I just kind of wanted to uh, check them out and to see how they do. Uh, I've seen some reviews online through Walmart, and there are actually pretty good reviews on them. Um, like anything, there's going to be negative reviews, so uh, um, that's always going to happen. But for the most part, they're actually. Uh, uh, decent reviews on these guys. So I figured why not give them a try, give them a little test. And uh, so I'm gonna be going over uh, accuracy. Um, I'm gonna be going on, I'm not gonna go on like penetration or anything like that. I am gonna be looking what their cut cuts look like. Um, I'm gonna use like a piece of chicken or something like that, just to kind of see what the, the how, how uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, how clean the cut is on, uh, on, on actual meat. And uh, yeah, so I'm gonna be doing a couple tests on these and uh, let's see here if there's any more information that I can give you. Um, they're stainless steel broadheads, which um, not a surprise for um, to pretty typical for broadheads. Uh, they, a lot of them use stainless steel um, and it's got the chisel point. I don't know what that means or uh, if it actually is, how big of a benefit that actually is, but uh, We'll find out. Um, so I'm gonna do uh, a couple tests on these guys and uh, we'll see how they do. Um, but yeah, let me know in the comments if you've ever used these. 
I might go out and uh, see if I can uh, maybe take a doe. Um, I already took a buck this year, so uh, that tag's full, but uh, there's always uh, there's always does roaming around that uh, you can go after. So um, yeah, so I hope you stay tuned for the test and uh, we'll find out what these guys can do. Stay tuned. All right, guys, got everything all threaded on. I'm only gonna be using one bolt for this. Um, I'm gonna shoot a few shots, see, uh, try to get the, the closest grouping I can off of it. Um, but uh, yeah, so um, there's dog poop everywhere in this yard, but the sun's out. It's been raining for like the last like four days straight. So uh, we actually got a decent day out today. So uh, yeah, like I said, I'm using one. Um, try to shoot the tightest group I can with it and uh, let's see how it goes. All right, guys, so not too bad. Um, took four shots or five shots, I think, five shots. Um, this guy, I was using the wrong pin for. I think this was my third shot. So I took two more after that. Um, first shot, second, and fourth shot, almost uh, identical um, location. And then my fifth shot. So. If you throw that guy out, not too bad. A um, little bit of, not too bad of a group. Um, not too bad. So uh, I'd say what, I don't know, three inch group. If you just count these three shots right here, that's pretty good um, for accuracy wise. I didn't sight this in um, at all before I took these shots. Um, it was still sighted in for my, uh, the broadhead I was using before, which was the Montec G5 broadhead. So, uh, not too shabby um, of a group. This little guy got away from me. I'm pretty sure I was using the wrong pin. I was using the top pin instead of the middle pin, but uh, on my scope. So, uh, but not too bad. So uh, I'm gonna put a piece of uh, meat up here and uh, let's see if we can peg that guy and uh, see what the cut looks like. Stay tuned. All right guys, so I got my piece of chicken on there. Um, let's see if I can actually hit it, but uh, just kind of see uh, what the cut radius looks like and uh, how clean the cut is but uh just gotta hit the chicken now let's see what we can do sorry about the noise um some guys leaf blowing so sorry Didn't even come close. <laughs> okay, let's try this again. Come on. A little bit to the left. I think I got it. <sighs> Finally got it. Let's go check it out a little bit closer. All right, guys, so we're back inside now. Um, I realized that there is a lot of dog poop in my yard that I need to pick up. Um, should probably pick up uh, a lot of landmines out there that I was dodging. But anyway, um, so it took me a few shots to hit the chicken breast. Um, but I finally got her. Um, I was shooting at, it's about 25 yards um, in my backyard that I was shooting from. Uh, so it took me a couple shots, but I finally nailed it and uh, was actually pretty impressed with the, the hole um, that it made in the chicken breast. Let's see if you can uh, kind of see that. It's actually a pretty big gaping hole. Um, you can kind of actually see where the three, three blades 
the, the points that the blades made um, from the three blades going into the meat and uh yeah it's a pretty nice cavity it made in there um try to get a good angle but yeah not too bad uh also the the penetration on my target was actually pretty deep um about the same as any other broadhead would be uh that i've used on there so uh i was uh pretty impressed um with that but the accuracy um i kind of took down my you guys saw the first uh couple shots i made first five shots i made so this is about around 10 maybe a little bit more that i was um including the first five shots and then trying to hit the chicken breast uh so not too bad of a grouping there's a few stragglers but uh you know that happens sometimes but i mean it's not not terrible um this is a pretty good uh group here so uh we're not sighting in um prior to doing this uh not too bad so uh accuracy i'd give it a eh, eight out of ten maybe um but that could be a uh, shooter error too you never know um i was shooting from the prone position but uh, i wasn't actually resting on anything so uh maybe if i would have used an actual rest i could have got a little bit more more accuracy out of it but uh this is the broadhead that i was using i did notice as the more I shot, this little tip here kind of bent a little bit, which is pretty typical in uh, any broadhead. Once you start shooting it um, through some uh, harder material um, multiple times. But uh, yeah, this started to bend a little bit, but it didn't really uh, affect the accuracy. Uh, that happened pretty early on in my shot, so it didn't really affect the accuracy too bad. Um, I did break uh, a vein <laughs> on one of my bolts, but uh, oh well. That's not too hard to fix. Um, so yeah, uh, you can kind of see the design of the broadhead a little bit better um, here. Uh, pretty typical three blade broadhead, but uh, not too shabby. Um, accuracy wasn't bad. Uh, the the hole size was pretty decent. It cut through that chicken pretty well. So uh, um, they say that it's all about the, the shot placement. So uh, I agree with that. Um, I'm pretty sure uh, as long as your shot's uh, where it needs to be, which judging by the accuracy of this, you could probably get it, you could probably dial it in pretty good um, to get your shot where it needs to go. So uh, I definitely think this uh, will be a pretty effective broadhead out in the field. Um, like I said, I'm going to try and get out there and uh, see if I can find uh, maybe a dough to, to put in the freezer with it and uh, Hopefully I have a little bit of luck. Um, there's not too much damage to the blade either from shooting through that cardboard multiple times. Um, the blade still seems pretty, uh, there's no like nicks or anything like that in it, so which is a good good sign. Um, but yeah, overall I was uh, pretty impressed. So uh, um, see if I can uh, actually put this uh, to use and uh, get a deer down with it. But uh, thanks for uh, tuning into today's video and I hope you enjoyed. Like I said, hit that subscribe button throw up a like, you, leave me a comment. Let me know if you guys have uh, used this before. Um, I, like I said, I saw pretty good reviews online, so uh, they can't be too bad um, for uh, 10 bucks. So uh, I'm always looking for the deal. Um, I'm a pretty frugal guy, I work hard for my money, so I kind of want to, you know, you don't want to go too cheap on stuff sometimes, um, but you don't, you know, you don't necessarily have to buy the most expensive thing um, in a lot of cases. So you just kind of got to do your research. So um, yeah, so thanks for, uh, joining, joining me today and, uh, go check out some of my other videos and I hope to see you again soon.